Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and I am uh, wanting to start doing what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the year, and show you guys some of the stuff that viewers have sent to me. This is stuff that you have sent to me. Uh, now, I would like to do a video at the end of each month where I actually open up the stuff and show it to you, uh, actually do unboxings of everything that you guys send to me, and going forward, I will probably do it that way, but uh, just to get things started, uh, these are things that I have already opened, but I still wanted to show them to you. Um, and I wanted to start with uh, by showing you more of the modern G.I. Joe stuff that was sent to me uh, by Larry Laura. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, Larry. Larry sent this stuff to, to me um, uh, just earlier, uh, actually at the end of the year. Um, and it was a huge donation of modern figures and vehicles. And vehicles! Um, it was so big that it actually came, it was wheeled into my office in two huge boxes. One of the boxes I couldn't even fit in my car. I had to break it down into smaller boxes just to get it home. But this is the stuff that Larry sent me. It's pretty awesome. Uh, going forward, as I do, as I review the vintage figures for some of these modern figures, I will do, I'll try to remember to do some comparisons with the modern figures. So I know that's something some of you guys have said you wanted to see, so I'll try to do that. But let me show you all the stuff that he sent. I mean, there's just so much here. Uh, like I said, this is not all of it. I will, there are some things that um, I'm not going to show you today because I may review it in the future um, or for other reasons I want it to be a surprise. I don't want you to know everything yet. Uh, some things in the future I, I want to be a surprise but this is most of it. This is most of it. Um, all of this stuff um, and so I mean starting with I mean these things which are really cool um, these boxed sets um, this is the, uh, yeah, this is Duke and Scarlet and Snake Eyes and Roadblock. Uh, I don't think you can see that necessarily very well. Uh, but these are the ones that have, like, the, it plays the theme song if you push the button. Uh, except that one, the battery's dead on that one. Uh, but I got this one, which is the Cobra one. Um, and I'm pretty sure this one still works. Let's see. Uh, yeah. See, that still works. This is pretty cool. I probably won't open these, but some of the other stuff I'm definitely going to open. Some of the other stuff I have already opened because I just couldn't help myself. It's too amazing. Uh, so, yeah, box sets that play the theme song. That's pretty cool. Um, so, those are nice. Um, and then, now, these are a lot of uh, the carded figures, but I also have a, few, uh, a couple of the... Um, comic book two packs uh, if you can see that there uh, I've got a whole bunch of others of those too the comic two packs that's just a couple of them but let me pull out some of these carded um, modern GI Joe figures just to show you what's in here um, I mean there's there's a modern version of uh, snake eyes version 2 with his uh, with timber um, and there's that's the uh, Cobra elite infantry um, and then let's see I might, uh, let's, actually, let me zoom the camera in a little bit so you can see these a little bit better. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. Who's this? There's Duke with his great big American flag. Uh, there's Spirit and Freedom. And what else are we pulling out here? There's, there's two layers of these in the box. Um, I packed them as tightly as I could without damaging them, but there's so many of them. There's Hawk and Rock and Roll. Very nice. I mean, the vintage versions of these figures, those are some of my favorite figures. Now, they've got some, uh, some other versions. These are slightly earlier versions of uh, Spirit and then Major Barrage. Uh, and I, I, am, I do have some familiarity with modern G.I. Joe figures, although they, I don't typically collect them and I don't uh, typically review them. Uh, but some of these um, are a little bit new to me, so I'll have to do a little bit of research on them. Um, we've got a couple two-packs with Cobra Commander and Chameleon, basically the Baroness, and then uh, Destro and, um, what's that, Cobra Fast Blast Viper? You know, whatever, okay. But anyway, check that out. And then, let's see, i got to make some room here. 
There really is a lot of it. All right, what's this one? That's Croc Master. We got uh, a Saw Viper and and a Snow Serpent. All right. And let's see. More. We have Barrel Roll and Grand Slam and uh, a Cobra Trooper. It's interesting to see these Cobra Troopers from different eras and how they interpret them in different ways. We've got a Zartan and um, Mutt. Yep, yeah, Mutt and Junkyard. Uh, I won't go through all of these, but I do want to. I want to show you a lot of them. There's um, there's Major Blood, an old favorite. Um, there's a uh, Destro, Iron Grenadier's Destro. I actually already have this one, but it's cool to have a second one. Uh, the one that I have is off the card, but this is still on the card. I'll probably leave it that way. Ro um, Roadblock. Airborne. Pretty, pretty nice version of Airborne there. We've got Scrap Iron. Pretty different from our version 1 uh, Scrap Iron. Uh, we've got a Baroness, but in her blue costume. Actually, I always kind of liked that blue. Um, all right, just, just a couple more handfuls, and I'll put these away, and I'll show you some of the other stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, this is a Range Viper. Um, oh, we've got a Crimson Guard. Excellent. Still have not reviewed the vintage Crimson Guard yet, because I don't have it complete, and I don't have all the file card variations and accessory variations. Still working on it. Uh, let's see, a snow job, and oh, this is—I really like this one. Uh, this Arctic Trooper Snake Eyes uh, looks like he did in uh, issue number two of the comic book. Excellent, really nice, very cool. And he even has uh, the Weasel Skull necklace uh, that he would have gotten from Quinn. Very nice. I like that a lot. You know, I still am partial to vintage figures. But there are a few good things that they've done with the modern figures, I have to say. Uh, a few things that very much impress me. We've got a Firefly. We've got a uh, Battle Android Trooper. We've got Blowtorch. We've got a, a different Crimson Guard. And we've got a Battle Armor Cobra Commander. And we've got a Storm Shadow. This one with his uh, version 2 uh, gray urban camouflage. Um, okay, one more handful, all right? There's still, there's still more in here than I could possibly pull out and show to you. But one more handful, one more handful. Um, we have... Uh, oh, oh, come on. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's undamaged. We've got a Meta Viper. Uh, we've got... Oh, stuff is falling. Um, we have Low Light. We have barbecue. Oh, oh no, don't fall. It's just, it's just piled up here. Um, we have torpedo. All right, this is the last one I'll show you for now. We've got flash. And then, I don't know, like 30 more of them in there in the box. Um, okay, I'm going to put these away just for a second. Um, I don't even, I can't even find them. Oh, there it is. Um, I've got these just in a huge pile here. Uh, I'm going to put these away. I'll show you some of this other stuff. Okay, in this box we have some comic book uh, two and three packs. Uh, we've got a comic book two pack here with some Dreadnoughts, uh, Torch and Ripper. Oh, let's do, sorry, let's zoom that in so you can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, there. There we go. Comic book two pack with Torch and Ripper. Um, just a bunch of these. Which one's this one? Um, yeah, this is a comic book two pack with um, uh, with uh, Nemesis Enforcer, or I guess they're calling him Nemesis Immortal and Lieutenant Fal Falcon. Uh, if for those of you who like the 1986 uh, movie, we got a three pack here: Zartan, Cobra Commander, and Zarana. Um, okay, no, that's a single card back. I'm trying to find the comic book packs here. Got another three pack with Buzzer, Thrasher, and Ripper. 
Uh, now these these are O-ring figures. They are basically reused the molds of the vintage figures, but they gave them different heads and different paint jobs. Some of them are some some of them are improvements on the original. Uh, on other aspects, I think I prefer the vintage figure over these repaints, but uh, some of them are not bad. Um, okay, we've got Ace and Wild Weasel. Um, never hurts to have Ace, although um, Ace's eyes are a bit wonky. I have to happen to notice. Uh, so a, a wonky-eyed Ace. Um, what's this? Uh, we've got a Crimson Guard. Um, and a Cobra Trooper. Oh yeah, Scarface. Check that out. Now, as you may recall, uh, one of the friends of the channel, uh, Jeff Adams, uh, sent me a Scarface um, a, a couple years ago, actually, uh, and that was that one was pretty special to me. I have a personal story about Scarface from when I was a kid. Uh, we've got Tomax and Zemont, and we've got um, who's that? Uh, Cobra Commander and Tripwire for some reason. Um, but there you go. Oh, okay, so that's that box. Now, uh, yeah, I've got a ton of uh, modern era figures and some uh, more uh, recent uh, O-ring figures. Um, and I'll try to work these into my reviews as uh, I'm able to. Uh, but he also, uh, Larry also sent me some um, vehicles. Vehicles. Vehicles of various sizes. Some of them even quite large. And again, this isn't all of them. Uh, some of them I'd like to keep as a surprise. But uh, uh, yeah, so extremely generous uh, donation by Larry. Thank you, Larry. I very much appreciate it. Uh, and I'm going to try to put it to as good a use as possible. Um, but it's just really a, a very touching to me and a thrill uh, that you would be able or that you'd be willing to send those to me. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so that was that box, and there's just so much here. I'm going to clear some of this out of the way so I can show you a few more things. Okay, and I'm sorry if you're getting some noise in the background. It's just the noise from my house. I'm trying to shoot this while people are trying to do other things, so sorry about that. Uh, sorry if there's any noise bleed into the video. Uh, so the next thing I want to show you is something that was sent to me by Lawson Allen. Lawson has sent several things to me recently. Uh, it's been a really big help to the channel. Uh, this is a figure that um, I didn't have before. Uh, something that I had mentioned a couple times, but I didn't actually have the figure to show you. So Lawson was kind enough to send that to me, and that figure is none other than Slaughter's Marauders Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, the one version of Sergeant Slaughter that I didn't have. And as uh, you also may be aware, uh, this is kind of an important figure this year because Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders, or I should say Slaughter's Marauders, is one of the themes of JoeCon this year. So. Uh, at the very least, um, I will be able to show you the Sergeant Slaughter figure. Uh, it doesn't have a file card and it doesn't have his swagger stick, but the figure is intact. And that's saying something for these Slaughter's Marauders figures, because it seems like the plastic they, these were made out of um, was a little more brittle than the standard figure of plastic. You'll find a lot of these with broken thumbs and other broken parts, but this guy is intact uh, and that is awesome. So thank you very much Lawson for that. Uh, so uh, that will go to some good use. Um, and the next thing I wanted to show you is not something that uh, a, a viewer sent to me, but it's something that I uh, won in a, a Facebook auction. Um, it's something that I've been trying to get my hands on for some time now, and I finally was able to. Uh, it is the Watchtower. This thing... It doesn't seem like it be, should be that difficult to, to find, but I'm surprised at how difficult this has been uh, to find uh, at a decent price. Um, I was not aware of this being a rare, um, uh, a rare piece, uh, this kind of battlefield accessory thing, um, but I think that it might, the prices on it might reflect the fact that it is kind of fragile. Uh, it's got several easily broken parts on it um, and and oops, and there goes the little ladder uh, that hooks on there anyway uh, but yeah um, I actually wanted to pick up one of these at JoeCon last year and I couldn't find one I couldn't find one at any price um, no just nobody had one um, so I was able to pick one up in a Facebook option uh, auction and um, I was very happy to get it at a really good price so finally 
finally have the Watchtower. And uh, this is one that I'd like to review at some point, um, and I'd like to compare uh, with the Checkpoint Alpha, uh, since that, that piece and this one seem to, like they would go together. Um, so Watchtower uh, is uh, a recent acquisition. And finally, the last thing. And it's not something even for me. Uh, it's something that someone got for Susan. Uh, Sparkster, uh, also known as Chris, uh, got for Susan a lurky pillow, which she liked very much. Uh, and she has on display now. Well, not right now. I have it right now. But when she gets it back, she will have it on display again. Uh, so uh, she was very happy to get this. It was a very nice surprise. Uh, thank you, Chris, for this. Um, and that is all right now. Um, so thank you to everyone who has sent things to me and donated things to the channel. I have done my best to put those things to good use uh, and absolutely to show my appreciation for it. Uh, nobody should feel like they need to give me anything. You, you're not obligated to send anything to me at all. Um, but if you do, uh, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, it definitely helps the channel. Um, and uh, from now on, uh, when you send something to me, I want to try to do a video like this where I show everyone what you sent me so uh, you'll actually get your stuff into a video. Um, I think you, you, know, you deserve that if you go through the trouble of sending something to me. I kind of regret not doing that before. Because people have sent lots of things to me before, and you know, I should have got all that stuff in front of, of a camera. Uh, but in the future, um, I'm going to do that. So, um, thanks for uh, all of this. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. You don't have to send anything to me for me to appreciate you. I'm just glad you're here, and I'm glad you're watching the video. Um, we got a, I, th I feel like we've got a great thing going here on this channel. Uh, we've got a great community, um, uh, lots of great folks uh, show up every week to watch the reviews, and so thank you. I'm very grateful to that, and I'm, I'm very happy to have gotten to know some of you as well. Uh, so that's it for now. Um, I should have a full G.I. Joe toy review coming up for you soon. This is just a, a little in-between video, and um, once a month, assuming I uh, get things from you guys, I'll try to do this again every month. Uh, show you guys all the cool stuff that was sent to me. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, I will talk to you soon.